Today I came across a patient suffering from discoid lupus erythematosus and the Shuster sign was positive in this patient. So I wanted to share her condition with all of you. So let's start the video. It is seen in discoid lupus erythematosus. The name of the sign is Shuster's sign. Here there will be scarring of the conca due to the lesions of the discoid lupus erythematosus. First I would give you a brief description about how the lesions of DLE will appear in the patient. So here you can see in this patient, she is presenting with the lesion over her forehead, which is showing. Here the patient is showing a lesion on the forehead, which is showing central hyper uh, hyperpigmentation or depigmentation in fact and the periphery is showing hyperpigmentation this is classical of the discoid lupus erythematosus and also you, if you look at the scalp she is having scarring type of alopecia which many patients are suffering from DLE will have and on the, over the concave you can see that there is scarring because of the discoid lupus erythematosus lesions this is classical of DLE also known as Shuster's sign in the same disease, you can also see one more important sign which is carpet tack or tin tack or also called as cat tongue sign. This is classical for discoid lupus erythematosus but can also be seen in seborrheic dermatitis which is also associated with scaling but it is having yellow color scales. In DLE, when the adherent scale is removed, the undersurface of the scale shows horny plugs that have occupied the patulous hair follicles. So this is the adherent scale with the uh, horny plugs which are inside the hair follicles and when this adherent scale is removed and is taken off with the help of a, a glass light then you can see the under surface will show the horny plugs which will protrude out just like when the cat protrudes its tongue out that's why this name of cat tongue sign is given to this uh, sign so I shared, I'm sharing this because in the future, I think AIMS and uh, also NEET will ask these kind of new image based questions because the sh there is shift from just one liners to case scenarios, just like in USMLE and uh, already the trend of image based questions in dermatology is in vogue. So I would make similar videos which are short and in which I will demonstrate the few signs and symptoms and phenomena which are seen on a daily basis in OPDs. And uh, I have already made auspit sign and uh, turning grey phenomenon inside my videos. The links for which I will put in the i cards above you can watch them in the Links for my WhatsApp and Telegram are in the description box below. You can join them for active daily discussion of Dharma related topics and questions. That's it everyone. I thank all of you for watching till this point. Bye.